Parts of Southern California are getting their first snowfall of the season. This is video from the San, San Gabriel Mountains outside LA, which got more than five inches. The National Weather Service issued flash flood warnings in several counties, and the storm prompted evacuations in some wildfire scarred neighborhoods where the threat of mudslides was high. Crazy to see snow, though, yeah, already in some parts of the country. Yeah, that time, depending on where you are. And speaking of snow, could this year's hurricane season impact the upcoming winter season? That's what everyone wants to know. Meteorologist Audrey Puente is here to break down the science behind it all and whether the two are connected. Audrey. Yeah, we've been getting a little bit of questions about that and a little chatter. This year's Atlantic hurricane season has been unusual, busy over water, but largely missed the U.S. coast. By late September, we hadn't recorded a single U.S. hurricane landfall, the first time that's happened in a decade. And we only had one U.S. landfalling tropical storm, and that was Chantal in South Carolina. So does fewer landfalls equal less snow? Well, the short short answer is no, because landfalls are about tracks, timing, and steering currents in late summer and fall. Winter depends on a different playbook that includes the El Nino Southern Oscillation, the jet stream, the polar vortex, and regional ocean patterns. A year, excuse me, a year with few landfalls can still flip to an active weather pattern. However, there's no direct correlation between the hurricane season and the winter season in North America. What will shape our winter is La Nina, the naturally recurring climate pattern in the Pacific Ocean, when trade winds strengthen, pushing water, uh, warm water westward, allowing cooler water to surface near South America. That cooling changes global wind patterns, often shifting the jet stream northward across the U.S. La Nina is back and favored to persist through early 2026, which could, which could bring a few active cold snaps later this winter. In addition, the polar vortex is expected to be disrupted by the Siberian high. That opens the door for frigid air to surge south into the United States. So the bottom line, landfalls and snowfalls don't go hand in hand, but can we expect a season of, but well, we can expect a season of sharp swings from mild spells to sudden bursts of Arctic air. And someone who's been listening to me so intently off, show, off, off, off camera here is my colleague, Nick Gregory, who I'm sure has a lot to say about this. And I always listen to you yes. very intently. Yeah. And actually, you know, we were talking about the La Nina pattern setting up, and I think the, the interesting part of it is it's a weak La Nina. Right. So we'll see what that means for the full effects, whether they happen or whether they don't. Yeah. But nonetheless, we'll stay tuned. On it. That's right. And stay tuned for our Weather Extremes program that will be coming up next month, mm -hmm. and we'll talk a little bit more about the winter pattern. Very good.